In this segment, we are going to discuss about the material requirement in ASME Section 8, Division 1. We're going to have an example in here, like SA516 Grade 70, which is a very common pressure vessel material, the pressure vessel material in here. This one is SA516 Grade 70. This uh, little plate in here is SA516 Grade 70. We're going to discuss about this to see what's the requirement of the ASME Section 8 Division 1 regarding the material. And if we open the uh, ASME Section 2, which is the material, we're going to discuss that, is you're going to, there's a certain table over there. If you go and find SA560 Grade 70, you're going to see there's a table and it's indicated that minimum yield strength is 38 thousand psi we're going to know what is the meaning for that and then the tensile strength is 70 to the 90 thousand psi or 70 to the 90 ksi and then you can see a curve that i put in the screen and then there's a vertical axis is the stress and the horizontal one is a strain so if i put this in a tensile machine and start pulling this material and at this certain point, if I release this, it's going to return to the original dimension. Okay, I pull this, I, pull, I, I draw a line in here, I draw a line in here, and then I pull this, and I see the machine rates some increase in the length because I'm pulling this in the machine. And uh, But if I release that, it's going to return to the original dimension. And this is what's happening between the... Uh, below the point number one in, in the screen you can see. So it's a, a point which is renamed a yield strength. Point number one is a yield strength. It means if I pass a certain load at the point number one, which is a stress, which for this material normally is 38,000 PSI, I passed in point number one, it's not going to return to the original dimension and the deformation or increase in the length is going to be a permanent uh, deformation. That's why we named point number one as a yield point or yield strength for this material SA516 grade 70 or this one SA516 grade 70 is uh, 38,000 PSI. So if I continue to pulling this and then I'm having uh, ink by pulling more, I'm having or adding more load and I'm, you know, proportionally having a more deformation until at some point I'm going to notice or machine is going to, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, indicates that the necking is going to is happening so you can see uh, there's a nickening uh, in, in the, uh, here is happening and it's uh, starting to be fail or to separate when the necking is started the machine reads the applied stress which is going to be something between the 70 to the 90,000 psi it records that and that is our tensile point or tensile strength after that if we you know, continue pulling this is going to be breaking point and a complete failure is going to be separated. So this is the meaning of the yield point if you hear and strength point and all of them is done that I explained it here, 38,000 PSI and something between 70 to the 90,000 PSI. These are at the room temperature in the laboratory at the room temperature. So yield, yield point based on the definition and in ASM Section 8, Division 1, on, um, on, on the definition part, in one of the appendixes, it says the point the material change from the elastic to the plastic. It means from, you know, uh, to, the, to the permanent deformation and then when it's not going to return to the original dimension. Tensile point, the point that the necking starts. So we know now whenever in the code book says yield the strength, tensile strength, we know the yield strength is the point of number one and tensile strength point number two. You can see there's a, between the number one and number two, there's a huge amount of the deformation. It means increase in the length and then uh, the, the necking starts. But between the zero point to the point number one, we have a little bit deformation, which is an elastic area. And then if we release the load, it's going to return to the original dimension. 
now we are in the same curve as a 516 grade 70 i want to see how the machine calculate yield strength and tensile strength you consider this is a two inch by one inch bar a solid bar and we want to you know to measure yield strength so i put this in a tensile machine and tensile you know is going to start to pulling this until the point one reaches and uh, reaches to the you know uh, from the elastic to the plastic transformation which is a yield point and gonna indicate a load of the 60,000 uh, pound applied to this okay is is the unit of the measurements of the load or force is pulling this machine is going to show 76,000 pound and then if you want to change this to the stress it's going to be you know you have to divide force to the area this is the uh, physics you know all the time stress equal to the force to the area our area is two square inch right i said two inch one inch assuming the one inch two inch multiply that the our area is going to be two square inch and if you divide seventy six thousand pound to the two square inch you're going to get thirty eight thousand psi which is a unit of measurement for stress this is the way machine calculates machine actually measures the load and then we divide to the area and then it can be automatically or we can manually calculate that that our yield strength is 38,000 psi let's let's move forward for tensile strength the same curve again and the same solid bar one inch to two inch and the machine continues to pulling that until the necking applies until the necking happens and at that point that the necking starts machine measures the load at the point number two in the curve that you can see in my right is 140,000 pound and the area is the same and if I divide the 140,000 pound to the two which is area force to the area and then the tensile strength comes as a 70,000 psi again this is at room temperature because the material gets softer when it's hot you put this on 700 degree fahrenheit in the furnace and take it off and put it in the tensile machine yes there is a, some tensile machines that they can make a yield strength tensile strength at the higher temperature is not going to be 38,000 psi and tensile is not going to be 70,000 psi they're going to be way lower than that because material gets softer in the high temperature what's the black smith does right puts on the fire and then it starts to hammering because it gets softer and then um, we having the 38,000 psi and 70,000 and now we are going to talk about the elongation and other things that you're going to see on many definitions and in many exam questions what's the elongation elongation normally shows us how ductile a material is so for this material SA516 grade 70 and the same material as here the elongation on 2 inch is 21 percent minimum and what does that mean it means if I use a machine a high wall thickness of the SA516 grade 70 and send to the machining and make a, a, a rod like the one you can see in the screen and I, I measure here two inch and I draw to red line and put it in machine and I pull these things this is going to be you know at the tensile point necking is going to happen and then the breaking is going to happen so then I can put these things together and make a measurement absolutely this is going to be more than the original two inch so I can make a little calculation like the one you can see in the screen L2 this means the second after the test is completed minus L1 original length and divided by the L1 2.5 inch minus 2 inch to the 2 inch the elongation comes 25 percent the code ASM section 2 part A for material of SA516 grade 70 says minimum 21 inch so it's past the test so this is the meaning of the